What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be taking a look at the two new legendaries leaked by Gecko as well as everything we know about their leaked skill descriptions. That's right guys, Gecko is back on his leaking game. I'm going to link his video in the description below because I would not have any of this information if it wasn't for his video. So please, if you guys don't subscribe to him, if you haven't seen his video, go ahead and check it out. Again, link will be in the description. The webpage that you're looking at right here is actually a project that I've been working on for the past week or so. It's riseofkingdoms.org. This is going to be a website where I update you guys with all of the uh, commander information and guides that, that I have, as well as potentially some other useful uh, information, news, things like that. So this this website is still very much a work in progress. But like I said, it's, it's going to be just a lot faster for me to release information in the form of a web page than it is for me to release a whole new video. So if you guys want to know more about these new commanders, I'm going to be updating this website faster than I can release a video. So stay tuned. And again, link to this website will be in the description below, probably in a pinned comment. Um, but there's a lot of information that's already on on this website if you guys want to see um, some information at, uh, information about a commander that I've already talked about you can click on their guide it'll give you some information it'll show the video that I that I made if it's a commander I haven't made a video for I link another content creators video um, and then we have some like tier information pros and cons skills history all sorts of good stuff like that so again link will be in the description below to this web page it's just gonna be faster if you guys want some information on a commander but you don't want to watch through a 15 or 20 20 minute commander video this is going to be the website for you and like i said as we get more information about these two new legendaries it's going to be on this website first before it will be on my youtube channel anyway let's take a look at the first of the two legendary commanders coming to rise of kingdoms trajan as you can see here i linked uh gecko's video on the web page because can't emphasize that enough go ahead and check it out trajan is apparently a roman emperor we can take a closer look at his image here uh, it looks like he has a golden crown just like julius Caesar caesar does in the game he has some golden uh, chest armor here and some some sort of like fur hood or something like that i think he's going to look really really cool when we finally get to see his full 3d rendering which is really really awesome as you can see here uh, we know that he is a leadership versatility and support commander we don't know his know his civilization but i mean we basically know he's gonna be a roman commander not that that affects anything but it's just fun to speculate but yeah we we know he's uh, certainly a roman emperor so yeah he's gonna be from rome uh, we don't know exactly how you obtain him right now so again this is speculation my assumption is is that he's going to be a mightiest governor commander and then eventually you'll be able to get him from card king way Way, way 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 down the line so that'll be really really cool we don't know anything about his skills at the moment this is where i'm going to be updating the web page when we do know some more information so stay tuned for that and i took some information from wikipedia this is literally straight up quoted from them so you can uh, read this if you want some more information about him really exciting to see some leadership commanders coming into the mix here i am wondering how this commander is going to perform doesn't have the conquering tree so like i really just i want to know what exactly this commander's role is going to be is he going to be a rally captain i i doubt that right and historically the best rally captains have been uh troop specific so i don't know how that's going to work potentially this will be another sort of constantine type of commander except more just for open field fighting instead of garrisons obviously he lacks the garrison tree so potentially he's just going to be tanky in the open field and just providing like aoe buffs that would be really really cool i just don't know I, i'm interested to see what exactly they do with this commander because obviously the versatility tree gives us no information we're not gonna ever use that right so leadership and support is where he's gonna dominate who knows but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at moctezuma the first uh this is an aztec warrior this is super cool i've wanted an aztec uh, commander in the game for a really long time so the fact that we are finally getting one is super exciting and man he looks like an absolute savage warrior dude i i love this headdress that he's got going on here he's got all these facial piercings and uh like war paint on his forehead he looks super super cool again i cannot wait to see what his like 3d model looks like in the game super cool uh we know he's a leadership peacekeeping and skill commander so that's going to be really interesting i don't know have we ever had a peacekeeping commander come into the game uh 
from a wheel of fortune my assumption is that he's going to be a wheel of fortune commander again we don't know this this is purely speculation in fact this might not even be a commander that comes into the game right like let me just make that clear these are leaks these are not official information so until you see them in the game this is all leaked information okay uh, but my assumption is that this is going to be a wheel of fortune commander uh so that's really really interesting as well again leadership and skill trees super interesting i wonder what we're gonna see there uh we don't at the time of recording this have an aztec civilization in the game if we got one that would be mind-blowingly amazing but uh we we don't have them information so it's likely that he's going to be an other civilization again no information on his skills at the moment and we do have some information here from wikipedia that we will update when we get the official uh information that is in the in the game okay literally as i was editing the video i refreshed rock guides that are you and the skills have leaked for these commanders as well as full images so it's not a fur hood it's a literal bear that's super cool he looks absolutely amazing uh, we can actually kind of zoom in on him a little bit better if you guys are, are interested in that but uh, what you're here for is the skills right so his primary skill is called Trujan's column now again this is translated from Russian and it's also a leak so this not official information okay this is just kind of spitballing close to what the commander is going to be like okay his active skill is called trajan's column it says deals direct damage to the current target this commander's troops and nearby allied troops gain bonus skill damage for three seconds and additional units rage per second so it looks like this is an aoe buff everyone around you gets 25 percent increased skill damage is that what this is here and at the same time damage taken is increased by 25 percent for three seconds so i'm confused as to this are we getting an increase aoe increased skill damage aoe uh, damage taken increase and 40 rage per second for three seconds for nearby allies like we got to see the official translation here because this sounds absolutely broken plus a single target damage factor now this is tiny obviously no one cares about that i don't I, I i actually cannot believe this like i can't believe the enemies take 25 percent increased damage for three seconds your allies deal additional skill damage it doesn't say here i guess technically what the additional skill damage would be and your allies gain extra age insane it insane right crazy second skill expanding the boundaries bonus to the defense of this commander's troops bonus to the health of troops when they're not in the alliance territory so you're going to get 20 percent increased defense and if you're in enemy territory it looks like you'll also get 20 percent health so potentially 40 percent of stats for a leadership commander crazy good right because you can put any troops in that army that's that's that could be that could be busted third skill great expedition says troop capacity bonus for what for this commander's units when this uh commander's troops consist of three or more different types of warriors they deal additional direct damage to the current target when using an active skill and increase the damage dealt to the target uh increase damage dealt to the target by four seconds so you get 10 percent more troop capacity if you have a mixed army of three or more different units you're you get uh 300 damage factor per second for four seconds and the target takes 20 percent more damage again I, I gotta see the official translation because this just sounds busted like this is any time that you have an active skill and guys remember this is a support tree commander so he has the rage engine from the support tree which means he's going to be pumping out those active skills like mad this is this is going to be crazy his fourth skill is called normal attacks on the map grant a defense bonus charge for 10 seconds uh the duration is updated with each new charge stacks up to 10 times so if it can only occur once every eight seconds so interesting the fact that it's an eight second cooldown is a really long cooldown so i don't know like this this is gonna like for really long fights you may end up stacking up to 60 percent defense mind blown like what i don't know how probable that is if the if the if it only lasts for 10 seconds and the cooldowns eight seconds i don't know we'll have to see this may need to be uh, translated better um and then the expertise deals direct damage to the current target damage will player 400 this commander's troops and nearby allies gain 30 percent extra skill damage for three seconds and 50 rage per second at the same time damage taken is increased by 25 percent for three seconds okay so this looks like it it makes the single target damage factor from 300 to 400 on his primary skill and they gain 25 percent uh your allies gain 25 percent increased skill damage and 50 rage per second 
for three seconds. This says at the same time, damage taken is increased by 25%. I'm wondering if this is for your army, because I feel like that would be the only way to balance something this powerful is for you to take more damage, right? And on top of that, you're getting a huge defense buff. Um, you're also gaining more troops and you take uh, take the defense and health bonus into consideration. I don't know. I, I really am curious to see um, if the target takes 25% increased damage for three seconds. That's just even better. Like this is this is wild. I'm I'm really excited to see this commander in action. All right, let's take a look at Montezuma. Montezuma. Uh, this is what his actual portrait looks like. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, he looks super cool, honestly. He's got the Aztec medallion, and everything like that. Um, this looks like a poison dart or something. So that's really interesting. Let's take a look um, at his skills here. It says country of thorns active skill deals direct damage to the current target and reduces its damage uh its counter attack damage for four seconds so it looks like a 1400 single target damage factor and you reduce their counter attack damage by 15 percent that's really really interesting flower wars the troops of this commander do more damage to barbarians okay so this is peacekeeping both commanders gain more experience uh so you get 50 percent increased damage to barbs 25 percent increased experience and it says attacks on barbs have a 10 percent chance to reduce the target's health by 50 percent i'm not sure this is obviously really powerful for peacekeeping but are people having trouble killing barbs not sure uh jaguar warrior troops of this commander receive a bonus to march speed and attack if they attack a target with a reduced health with a normal attack they are healed the effect can only occur once every five seconds. So you get a 10% increase in march speed, 20% increase in attack. And if you do a normal attack, is it a guarantee 700 damage factor heal per normal attack? That doesn't sound right. That sounds busted. I don't know. Um, this is, we're going to have to see, uh, in, is this a negative two? That can't be. Uh, we're going to have to see an English translation here, but this also <laughs> looks more like a peacekeeping skill, right? Because, I mean, is there any skills in the game that reduce the target's health besides this one right so i don't i don't really know there um this last skill is called triple alliance it says when this commander starts a joint attack the capacity of the summon troops is increased so basically when when you initiate a rally with montezuma um you get a 10 percent increase rally capacity is what i'm assuming i know it says gathering capacity but i think that this is just poor translation because it says gathered uh, a joint attack so yeah when you start a rally you get 10 percent increased rally um bonus essentially and when you take skill damage you deal a 600 damage factor to the attacker it can only occur once every five seconds interesting right interesting it looks like they really went all in with peacekeeping on this commander which makes me curious as to is this really going to be a wheel of fortune commander are people really going to invest in the wheel of fortune for this like the only reason i could see them doing that is if they release some insane insane insanely powerful pve content down the line and that's where he shines but i don't really know uh, his expertise basically it buffs this fourth skill so it's an 800 damage factor instead of 600 and it can occur every four seconds instead of every five so the cooldown goes down a little bit so I mean that could be interesting right because this part of the skill doesn't say it has to be during a rally right this is just straight up when the commander takes skill damage so in the open field if you start to take skill damage like i wonder if this can apply to multiple targets like let's say you get hit by multiple isong yay skill damages do you immediately deal 800 damage factor to every isong that just hit you oh no there's a four second cooldown so i guess it can't overlap interesting i don't know this commander is less exciting to me than uh trajan uh trajan seems busted broken and this just seems like a glorified peacekeeper we have to wait to see how this actually plays out if they have plans to change pve content or if these skills are actually even accurate if this leak is accurate and the translation is accurate anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video there will be a link in the description below to my rise of kingdoms.org guide for both of these commanders with my best translation from this the russian uh translation that we just saw as always links to my social media accounts will be in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord everything like that links are always in the description finally there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms you probably experience fewer crashes and lag than if you were playing the game on an older phone and like i said it's totally free so make sure you click that link and give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace